Yeah. You made me this skirting table. I did. And then I cut my finger on it. That wasn't my doing. Okay. This was <laughs> definitely my own fault. If you use these saw horses, watch out for hinges because they pinch. Pinch points. Yeah. If we put a three foot piece of two by four across the top of it. So it's nice and smooth, so it shouldn't fall on whatever you're using. Yay! Boards go over the saw horses, and they are screwed in underneath so that they don't fall off the saw horse. Are you bleeding? No, Isaac was like, Dad, I think I'm going to get a splinter. He hasn't gotten a splinter yet. I've gotten two. Okay, so let's unroll this and then I have a fleece that I got from a farm for free because we went to pick up chicken eggs and she was like, I have a wheelbarrow full of fleeces, would you like them all? And I was like, yes, I want them all. And Mark said, We need to think about how we're going to set up a skirting table and all that. Because we don't have a skirting table for you anymore. Right. So we need a... You don't have a skirting table. Yeah, and I was like, you can make me one. And then I gave you a look. And then you said one fleece. <laughs> so I kind of just eyeballed what I could see from the open part of the bags and we grabbed one and left. I mean, they're pretty dirty, but for a scouring project, I think I want to work on this one. I think this one would be fun. I mean, it's hard to say without pulling the whole thing totally out. To get a look at it so i haven't even taken it out of the bag to see what i ended up with it's a total surprise so i'm gonna unroll this because this is my new skirting table and i like how you designed this one mark because i can roll it up and put it away in the garage and the saw horses are just useful for whatever projects we might be doing anyway so So it was a little tricky to squeeze them in on the sides, but once they lined up, they're all good. So... And this table was designed to be broken down, not as a permanent one that you're supposed to use like every week for right. production. Exactly. This is for doing like maybe two or three fleeces, maybe a year. Not like a full-on production. It's It rolls up tiny to toss it in the rafters of the garage. Okay. This is the fleece I grabbed. It's in a feed bag, right? That's that's pretty much as farm as you get. So, pretty sure it's a Dorset fleece, but she did have some other sheep that were mixed. So it could be from one of them. Ooh, she's dirty. Yeah, this is dirty. <laughs> so my goal for this is to maybe be able to get a pair of socks out of it. We will see. There we go. For those who aren't sure, what is the purpose of skirting a fleece? Okay, so when you skirt a fleece, you want to unroll it 
so that you can see what you're looking at, right? Because the way this came off the animal, you can kind of see where the different areas are at. So you can pull off the bits you don't want. The things around the neck are going to have more vegetable matter in them. The things around the poopy end are going to have more poopy stuff in them. It also helps you shake out any um, vegetable matter that you might have and just kind of get a good look at what you're working with. Yeah, and there's already little second cuts and bits and pieces falling out to the bottom. It's pretty dirty. But look at this crimp. Like, if you get down into the lock, it's got some nice crimp. and it's sound. So this is one of the things that I learned from Kamage Fiber Arts, Scour Wool Like a Boss. I always thought you were supposed to snap the lock of wool to see if it would break or if it sounded crinkly to show that there was weak spots or um, problems with the strength of it. Really, you don't need to snap it. That puts more force on it than you would ever need to. So give it about seven pounds of pull to see if it has strength and integrity that way rather than snapping on it and yanking on it. And this is really, it's sound. I'll take the worst parts out of it and process what I can. It's definitely going to take some combs to get the vegetable matter out, but <laughs> we're well on our way. So let's skirt this fleece. Skirt it hard. Yes, I said that. <laughs> no more bleeding. Okay, we're good. The parts I'm getting rid of are the parts that are just so full of vegetable matter, it's kind of ridiculous to even try. And the icky poopy bits. That's why I'm wearing gloves. This center portion where the neck is has quite a lot of VM just all stuck down in there. So I'm pulling those parts out. I'm mostly looking for the parts that still have some of the crimp structure. Um, they might be dirty, but they'll clean up. But they aren't too gross. It's pretty dirty, pretty messy, a little old, but I'll get what I can get out of it. Maybe enough for some socks. We will see. But even the tips, some of these tips are kind of, some of these tips are kind of felted. I think they're still See, I, I think there's still some salvageable sections. So these are the parts I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm mostly done skirting and this is basically what I've ended up with. I took everything off the britch area. This is around the butt, around the tail. And I have sort of the lower back fairly intact, but I took out this section, which would have been up around the neck because it was just so full. Of VM because that's where their head is and that's where the feed falls down on them and gets stuck in there so then that's a little bit kind of up by the other shoulder and I skirted pretty heavy around the edges to get all the muddy sides off you can see this is the pile it's almost as big as what I kept if you put everything I took off into one pile there's more down there um, it's almost as much as what I kept but I think I have enough here that I can work with and, um, you know, if nothing else, it's good practice, right? And maybe get something salvageable out of this. Soon I'll be scouring this fleece, but that's a video for another day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and happy spinning. See you next time. Let's go see the sheep. <gasps> sheep! Hello, sheep. Hello. They're like, nope. <laughs> Who are you? Hello, sheep. Hi. Oh, hello, friend. <laughs>